Someone left the stove on at the end of the Bear Season 3 because all of the major storylines were still cooking when the credits began to roll. FX's high-anxiety restaurant dramedy turned up the heat throughout the 10 new episodes, now streaming on Hulu, putting every character in a sticky situation as fine-dining establishment the Bear opened and struggled throughout its debut month. But the finale, forever, left everything hanging when the words, to be continued, flashed on the screen. So where do Carmi, Jeremy Allen White, Sydney, Ao Edebairai, and the rest of the Bear crew go from here? It's hard to say for all of the characters, and the Bear itself. Throughout the season, reviews of the restaurant flashed on screen, ranging from high praise to truly disastrous. But it's not clear if those headlines were real, or just manifestations of Carmi's worsening anxiety. The finale ended with the Chicago Tribune review of the restaurant finally publishing online, but we don't actually see the full article. Carmi opened the link to read it and inconsistent words flashed on screen. Confusing, excellent, culinary, innovative, sloppy, inconsistent, simple, complex, and stale. Since the words skewed both positive and negative, it's difficult to know whether the review is overall good or bad. Carmi's own reaction of Motherfur also does not shed light one way or another. But since Carmi's phone showed a bunch of missed calls from Uncle Jimmy, Oliver Platt, and the computer, Brian Koppelman, the family friend hired to cut rising costs from the restaurant, it's likely not a good sign. UNC previously threatened to close the restaurant if it got one bad review. And his finances just tanked, which Carmi still doesn't know about, making the bear a very bad investment at the moment. Carmi's new menu everyday policy, as well as his other non-negotiables in his bid for a Michelin star, just cost too much in the current market. Plus, the restaurant could be losing a pivotal member of its staff. Sydney ended the finale having a panic attack outside her apartment while everyone else partied inside. She didn't know whether to stay at the Bear and finally sign the partnership agreement with Carmi or leave for another, arguably better, opportunity from ever Chef Adam, Adam Shapiro. She hadn't even told Carmi yet about the life-changing decision she's considering and her indecision and stalling as well as Carmi's increasingly stubborn and borderline abusive behavior in the kitchen, were taking a real toll on her. Meanwhile, Carmi still had not apologized or made up with Claire, Molly Gordon, after his freezer meltdown in the season 2 finale. In fact, he's still not on good terms with Richie, Eben Moss Backrack, either. But Richie finally began getting to a good place with his ex-wife Tiff, Jillian Jacobs, and her new fiancé Frank, Josh Hartnett. Natalie, Abby Elliott, gave birth, finally making amends with her mother, Jamie Lee Curtis, in an intensely emotional episode focused on their relationship. And since Marcus, Lionel Boyce, mother passed away, he's thrown himself into work to cope with his grief. Thank goodness the bear is reportedly preheating a fourth season. FX has not officially renewed it yet, because season three was more of an intriguing appetizer for what's to come next rather than a satisfying meal on its own.